Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a fun Love Cats project for you today. It is an easel card. It sits up like that. Let me turn it to the side so you can see. Lays down flat so it fits in an envelope and then it sits up like that. It features that cute little Love Cat. We're gonna use our um, embossing folder and I'm also using that really great um, like an animal designer series paper. I haven't used it yet. I've been wanting to use it and I thought it was good um, to pair it with this little cat. All right, let's start with our stamping. I'm gonna use my Stamparatus to stamp this cutie on a circle. And the reason I'm using my Stamparatus is so that I can get a good solid black image. Um, if the, the image doesn't stamp real solid the first time I can re-ink it and lay it back down. Now we want this cat kind of up here in the corner because as you can see we're going to cut off the corners here to match the corners of our card. So I'm going to move it up and use my my um, magnets to hold it there in place. All right so then pick that up. I'm using stays on because it's a really good dark solid black. Memento will work fine as well. I just really think stays on is a deeper black than Memento. All right, so we'll stamp that cat one time. And then I think I'm, I mean, he looks pretty good, but let's do it again to make him really dark. There we go, very nice. All right, bring over your cut and emboss machine. Let's emboss that piece that our cat is gonna be sitting on. For this one, I'm using the new Cane Weave 3D embossing folder. And you need to remove the top plates. You're only gonna need plate one and plate four. And I've got a little piece of basic white here. And did you know that this white line right here, black line right here on our embossing folders is to help you get your piece in straight when you emboss? That's what it's for. Okay, so now lay that down, put plate four on top, and run it through. All right, that is a really pretty texture, isn't it? All right, now let's take our cat and we're gonna adhere it. Let's adhere it with dimensionals. I'm going to put two dimensionals here in the corner and then I'm going to take this and I want to get it so that the cat is on there but when I cut this off he's still on there. I think I'm pretty close. So I'm going to grab my trimmer down here of course I didn't get it out already and let's trim this get it nice and straight okay. So line this part up right near the gutter and cut that off. Let's double check. All right, we did good there. And then over here. All right, perfect. Now let's color in that heart. I'm using Sweet Sorbet to match the designer series paper and the glimmer paper that I'm gonna use. And let's take our Wink of Stella and add some Wink of Stella. So cute. All right, now I have a piece of Sweet Sorbet DSP from the In Color Designer Series Paper Pack. And I'm gonna put this on with dimensionals, of course. And then we're gonna put this on in the middle of a piece of Sahara sand. Now, all these measurements will be on a free PDF. All you have to do is click the link here, go over to visit my blog. There's two other Love Cat projects for you over there as well. All right, now to make the fun fold part of our card, <clears throat> you're gonna get a piece of basic black, half a sheet, five and a half by eight and a half, score it at four and a fourth and two and a fourth. And this one folds in and this one folds up. Okay, so we're gonna adhere this right to the center of our card, but we're only gonna put the adhesive down on this half. Okay, so 
I'm gonna put several little strips there so it's nice and stuck, but I don't wanna go down here because that'll be seen. All right, so we wanna center it so it looks like just a regular card like that until we open it and then that's gonna pop up. All right, so to hold it open, we're gonna get, first we're gonna start with a piece of basic white. This is where you can write your message. And then a strip of that paper, you've got metallic and you've got non-metallic. I decided to use the non-metallic. I think it shows up just a little bit better. And I'm gonna adhere that right there. Let's trim it off. Now we're going to get our glimmer paper and my heart, solid heart punch from the heart punch pack. And we'll punch out a heart. And then we've got a basic black stitched banner. I'm going to emboss the sentiment on this. Rub it with your embossing buddy. That removes any of your static that might hold your embossing crystals or granules in the wrong place. We want them to only stick to the ink. Head over heels about you. Now I know you can't see it, it's a clear ink. So, let's flick that off, let's get that. Now, if you have any little granules that are stuck, grab your paintbrush. I've got just my fat paintbrush right now. It's better to use your skinnier one. All right. Now I have my reverse tweezers that came in my embossing um, accessory kit. I'm gonna use my heat tool. Just gonna take a few seconds. All right. Now, the last thing we're gonna do is put this on the inside of our card. Again, you wanna use dimensional so that it creates that height that's gonna hold that front part of your card in place. Okay, so we'll put that there and then we'll put two here and put that right across there. All right, so now the last thing, I have a couple of our pearl hearts. I love using these any time of the year, but especially around Valentine's Day, they're perfect. Now this isn't necessarily a Valentine card. It's just to, you know, an admirer card. You could give it to really anybody who you like or appreciate or care for. All right, and there you have it. <clears throat> a really, I think, pretty simple, fun fold easel card. All right, now make sure you check, click the link here on YouTube, hop over to my blog for that full supply list, and I hope you'll give this, look, I did the wrong side, didn't I? <laughs> I said I was gonna use the non-metallic side because it shows up better, and then I just completely did it the opposite way. Oh well, well now you can compare. <laughs> All right, you guys, have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.